first of all we will study the definition of the positive definite matrices a matrix a is positive definite matrix a is positive definite if it is symmetric you are very well aware of a symmetric matrix and if a is symmetric and hold this inequality which is x transpose a x greater than 0 for every n dimensional vector x which is not equal to o Now we consider x transpose ax, x vector is mentioned here, this is the x vector while this is the transpose of the vector x, here A is a matrix which is symmetric and has n dimensions. We get its solution we will multiply this matrix with this vector first and solving this matrix and this vector we obtain this result which is written in summation form and after this we multiply this raw vector with this vector and we obtain this one identity which is written in summation form here we can easily check that what this entry or component behaves we can see is it positive or negative is it greater than 0 or less than 0 or equal to 0 and the definition shows that a matrix A is positive definite if it is symmetric and x transpose A x is greater than 0 if this is greater than 0 then matrix A is positive definite We consider the example that A is a 3 cross 3 matrix. We have to show that this matrix is positive definite. We observe that this A matrix is symmetric matrix because its transpose is equal to the given matrix A. We consider this expression x transpose a x. x is a vector of dimension 3. Its dimension depends on the dimension of the matrix A. And this is the transpose of the vector x. We know that how we have to multiply these three matrices we will first take the result of the product of these two matrices this matrix and this vector we obtain a vector after multiplying the matrix with the vector now we multiply this row vector with this column vector and we obtain this entry this is one entry now we have to show that this is positive in this expression we cannot suggest that it is positive or negative because these are five terms 
which involves negative sign and positive signs and we cannot say about x1 x and x2 or n about x3 that these are positive or negative we have to rearrange these terms in such a way and later on we conclude that the above result can be written in this form no x1 square one term which is definitely positive term because it's x1 has its square and this term is also positive this term is also positive similarly this term is also positive and the sum of all the positive terms is always positive the uh, this result is greater than zero unless x1 x2 x3 all are equal to zero hence we conclude that the given matrix is positive definite